Welcome back. On this training, I'm going to be going over how to build out your custom audiences within Ads Manager. So in order to get to this audiences tab, you go here on the hamburger menu and then I'm under audiences right here. So that's how I was able to access. And then in order to create your custom audiences, in order to build out the default account structure, you're going to go here, create audience and then custom audience. There we go. And the first, the first audience we're gonna practice building is WCA 30. So this stands for Website Custom Audience 30, and this is gonna be a people who were on your website in the last 30 days, and this is gonna be in your remarketing campaigns. So, and you're also gonna exclude WCA 30 traffic from your top of the funnel campaigns. So to do that, I'm gonna use my website as the source of the pixel data. I'm looking for all website visitors in the last 30 days, so that is correct. And I'm gonna name this WCA 30. And you can add a description if it helps you remember. So traffic from last 30 days on the website. Great. There we are, it is added. Now let's do another one. So you can see it's right here, description's right under and it'll start populating that audience. So the next one we're gonna build out is WCA 180 purchasers. So this is a list of all the people who have purchased on your website in the last 180 days. So we're gonna exclude these from your prospecting and remarketing campaigns. We don't wanna advertise anyone who's purchased, at least in the basic structure. So we wanna make sure that we have this audience built out as well. So I'm gonna to go to custom audience website. Instead of website visitors, now I'm going to choose purchase in the last 180 days. I'm going to name this website custom audience 180 purchasers. Purchase. This is only for your own knowledge. Days on the website. Create. And that is done. So that's it for the website audiences that you have to build. Other audiences that you can build for the advanced structure is uploading a customer list. So I mentioned in the advanced structure that you can upload a list of repeat purchasers, high AOV customers that you download from Shopify or your other reporting softwares. Um, in order to get these lists and then you can target these lists as well and this is where you would do it you would upload a list with emails and then any other identifiers that you collect from customers name last name this is also the place you would go to create an audience from a list if you were going to upload a list of newsletter subscribers so if you have a list of people subscribed to your email list on your website you can download that whole email list and then upload it to Facebook here and then target them in your re-engagement campaign. So this is where you would go for them. Let's do some other re-engagement audiences. So we can do one off of video views. So this is a re-engagement audience where you can choose the videos and I'd like to choose people who have watched at least 75% of the video. So if you have a minute video, that's either an ad or on your organic Facebook and Instagram page and you wanna target people who've watched 45 seconds at least, that 60 second video, you can click on here. And then you'll have your option to choose the videos. So you can choose by your Facebook page and see, okay, this video has 6,000 views. I'm gonna target those and you can select on multiple. The other videos having 800,000 views, this would be a good one to retarget based off of video viewers. I want to get people who watch 75% of the video and retarget them in my re-engagement campaign. So I'll confirm for that one. Well, I want to see if they watched the video in the last 365 days. 
I'll name this one video viewers 75% because I watched the next the video plus 365 and click create. And there you have it. And then you can also create one for your Instagram and Facebook engagement. So I find these to also be highly profitable re-engagement audiences. So you would click on use Facebook sources from an Instagram business profile. Click on your Instagram name. Anyone who's engaged with your business in the last 365 days. Instagram engagers three, six, five. So as some of you might know, your organic reach on Instagram and Facebook has probably gone significantly down due to other algorithm changes. Facebook and Instagram's algorithm um, doesn't like to promote business content, especially if people aren't frequently interacting with your posts. So even your own followers on your Instagram and Facebook page might not see all of your posts. So running ads through Facebook Ads Manager to reach these Instagram and Facebook engagers audiences is a really great way to make sure that your Facebook and Instagram engagers are seeing your content, especially if you have new sales coming out or new products. This is a great time to utilize those audiences. Let's do one for Facebook page. Same thing, anyone that engaged their business last 65 days. Facebook engagers 365. And there you go. So those are the custom audiences that you're gonna need in order to build out your default account structure. Definitely not difficult to build out. And it usually populates within a few hours. So next thing we're gonna move on to is look like audiences. So what a look like is, is that Facebook tries to find people who look most similar to your purchasers. And so when I'm running Facebook ads, I highly rely on the 1% lookalike audience, well, especially when I'm testing new creative and I wanna to go towards a highly qualified yet still cold audience. So these aren't people who've been to your website, but they're similar to those who have been on your website. And a 1% lookalike means that they're similar to 1% of the US population on Facebook, which is around 2.3 million. And of those 2.3 million people, they are the most similar in terms of demographics and interests as your purchasers on your website. So to create that, you go to this drop down menu, go to lookalike audience, selecting your lookalike source, and you're going to pick your pixel as a source. And I'll show how many values have, per have came through on that pixel. You can select your location, United States. And then here's the 1% look like. So 2.3 million people in the US who are most similar to purchasers from my pixel. And it says it's a duplicate because I already have this one in my account. Of course, I'm already running the 1% look like. But if you aren't running a 1% look like a purchaser is based off a pixel, you would see it populate here. I hope this was helpful in forming your audiences to start building your campaigns.